Natalie Wood, a notable American actress of Russian descent, was born on July 20, 1938, in San Francisco, California. The daughter of Russian parents, she adopted her stage name in honor of her roots, beginning her career in the film industry as a child. At the age of four, Natalie already showed a talent for acting, and at just eight years old, she landed a significant role in the film Miracle on 34th Street, 1947, launching her journey to stardom. She quickly rose to prominence in Hollywood, receiving critical acclaim for her role in Rebel Without a Cause, 1955, which earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress in her teenage years. Natalie Wood continued to shine in the film industry, especially in musicals. Her talent was widely recognized in classics like West Side Story, 1961, and Gypsy, 1962. These memorable performances led to Oscar nominations for Best Actress for the films Splendor in the Grass, 1961, and Love with the Proper Stranger, 1963, showcasing her versatility and exceptional acting ability. Despite her success and fame, Natalie Wood's personal life was marked by challenges and tragedies. Her premature and mysterious death in 1981 remains one of Hollywood's greatest mysteries, shrouded in speculation and intrigue. Natalie Wood began her journey in the film industry as a child, making her first appearance in Tomorrow is Forever, 1946, when she was just four years old. Her early talent quickly caught the attention, leading her to sign with the renowned production company RKO Pictures in 1946. During this time, she adopted the stage name Natalie Wood, a more accessible and familiar version to the American audience. Her mother, Maria Zakarenko, played a crucial role in her career development, encouraging and supporting the young actress in her early steps in Hollywood. Natalie continued to gain recognition in the film industry, starring in notable films like The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, 1947. However, it was her performance in Miracle on 34th Street, 1947, that solidified her reputation as a talented actress, turning the movie into a timeless classic. Behind the scenes, Natalie Wood's personal life was complex and often tumultuous. Her legacy in Hollywood is accompanied by a persistent mystery and personal tragedy. From a young age, Natalie was haunted by a premonition that she would die by drowning, a prediction that sadly came true. This eerie premonition created a deep fear of water that haunted her throughout her life exacerbated by several near-drowning incidents. This fear, and Natalie's subsequent tragic death, contributed to the mystique surrounding her, making her one of Hollywood's most enigmatic figures. At just 10 years old, Natalie Wood faced a terrifying incident during the filming of a movie. While portraying a scene in which her character crossed a bridge to help sheep, the structure collapsed, resulting in her fall into the water and a fractured wrist. This traumatic event deepened her fear of water, which had already haunted her from an early age. Nevertheless, Natalie demonstrated remarkable resilience, impressing the director with her brave and talented performance in the face of adversity. As Natalie Wood grew older, by the age of 15, she was already a prominent figure in the film industry, but her personal life was heavily influenced by her mother. While her mother sought to protect and control her image, Natalie found herself in conflict with the natural desires of a teenager. This dynamic led to the early end of a romantic relationship with a young man named Jimmy, and later to a controversial involvement with the director Nicholas Ray, who was significantly older. In a film produced many years later, her sister portrayed a scene illustrating the influence of Natalie's mother on her social and professional life, including a forced dinner at Frank Sinatra's house four decades earlier. Disturbing rumors emerged in Natalie Wood's romantic relationships, including allegations of abuse by an individual identified only as Woody. In 1957, she married actor Robert Wagner, but the marriage ended in 1962. Natalie's mother had specific concerns about this marriage, primarily related to Natalie's young age and the potential impact of motherhood on her film career, leading her to make a promise not to have children during that period. During the 1960s, Natalie Wood and Robert Wagner co-starred in the film All the Fine Young Cannibals, 1960, but the production didn't achieve the expected success. During this time, Natalie began to showcase a new facet in her acting, particularly notable in Splendor in the Grass, 1961, 
where her performance was more mature and distant from the image of innocence that had accompanied her in her early years. In the 1970s, after her role in the film HUD, 1963, Natalie started to step away from the film industry. She faced serious personal issues, including several suicide attempts, and decided to focus on building a family. In 1972, Natalie and Wagner reconciled their marriage after a period of separation and had a daughter, solidifying a phase of greater balance between her personal and professional life. Natalie's life seemed to be entering a more stable phase, but a tragic event occurred during Thanksgiving weekend in 1981. While on a break from filming the movie Brainstorm, Natalie decided to take a yacht trip with Wagner and actor Christopher Walken. The circumstances of that night are murky, but the result was Natalie Wood's death by drowning. Wagner reported an argument before Natalie's disappearance, but Christopher Walken, who was present at the time, never revealed details of what happened. Despite investigations, Natalie Wood's death remained a mystery. In 2018, Wagner was considered a person of interest in the case, but he refused to cooperate with authorities. Natalie Wood had two notable marriages, with Robert Wagner from 1957 to 1962, and later with Richard Gregson from 1969 until 1972. She passed away on November 29, 1981, at the age of 43, leaving behind an impressive cinematic legacy and a mystery that continues to intrigue the world to this day.